Hi, Julie Powell back again in Lumina Neo. This time I'm going to show you how you can add some texture to your image or some light overlays. So I've come back in with another one of my um, dreamy sort of romantic um, series, The Letter. Um, and it's sort of high key and painterly and all the rest of it. So I want to add a texture to the background. So there's a quick and easy way to do it. If you come over to the left hand side here, you will see that you've got layers. So your base layer is highlighted in blue. But if you click on plus, then it will open up different things that you can add to your image. So there's flares, light leaks, stardust and bokeh and sparklers. And so these, all these different lighting effects come with Luminar Neo, but you can also add your own images. You just click on plus and you just go through and you can bring in your own textures or lighting. So I've got one that I've already done. So I'm just going to click on that one and I'm going to bring it over. Now you can um, make it fit, you can fill or you can stretch it. So I'm just going to stretch it so that it sort of fills the frame. Um, and then you can drop the opacity so you can have 100% opacity. You can drop it right down. You can do different um, blend modes. So you can have darken or multiply. Um, overlay, soft light, etc. So um, generally I tend to play with overlay, overlay or you can leave it on normal, drop the opacity right down and then you can come in with the masking tool and with the brush you can erase it off any areas that you don't want it. So it's going to come up red here for the mask and I'm just going to come through and I'm going to take it off some of the areas that I don't want it. And this will sort of show you where you're up to using the um, left and right bracketing keys you can make your brush smaller and you can decide where you want that texture to be applied so and I can bring that go back over to the properties and I can bring that opacity down so you only want sort of just a touch. If you decide that you want to paint in a little more, you can just come through and you can paint in certain areas. So paint adds it in, erase takes it off. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, now you don't have to stop there, you can add more. So you can come in and you can add more textures or you can play with some light leaks and um, bokeh and stuff like that and play with all sorts of various cool things. So um, I just thought I'd show you that and um, it's loads and loads of fun to play with. You don't forget you can drop the opacity right down. So if you really don't want too much of it, um, you can lower the opacity. And if you just want to jump between the different layers, you just need to click it. Whatever one is highlighted with the blue, that is the one that you are currently working on. If you want to hide or remove a layer, just um, right click and you can hide or remove or you can even duplicate a layer um, so you can work your way through just remember to jump back to your base layer to work on the base image you can also flip it horizontally or flip it vertically so you if you put in um, say a light leak or something but you don't want it that way and you want to flip it over you can easily do that too 
so that's that's it have fun um thanks for watching bye for now